Well, I, uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I grew up in Little Italy on Martin Broom in a tenement apartment. And uh, like a gazillion other people, once the Beatles hit and the record started coming to America and uh, they were in Ed Sullivan, my world exploded. And the whole British invasion was like, you know, an amazing, amazingly uh, foreign yet charming thing for me as a kid in Little Italy to see all this British fashion and style of music because I'd grown up, you know, it was the Four Seasons and it was Sinatra and, you know, uh, Jimmy Roselli ruled and, and stuff like that. And that stuff is great, you know, looking back now. But for me, once the British invasion hit, I was hooked and I lived for the day when I could get to England. And so I started, didn't really start playing though when the Beatles hit and the whole British invasion. What got me hooked was uh, I went to a record store to f some friends of mine. We were already kind of talking about playing. Well, you, you play, you'll play drums, you'll play guitar, I'll play bass, you know, that kind of thing. And um, the, this older man in record store said, have you heard this English band? And he put on Not Fade Away by the Stones really loud, and that was the end of it for me. That's when I said, I have to get get a bass and start playing. So you started off on the bass? Yes, okay. I'm not a frustrated guitar player <laughs> or keyboard player. I literally, I, for some reason, gravitated towards bass and bass lines, and I found it so interesting how it worked with the drums and how, and how uh, you know, in a lot of British records, and, and uh, to a certain extent, in America, the birds was sort of the sort of the uh, the answer to the British invasion. Uh, the counterpoint melodies that Chris Hillman played in McCartney, and to a lesser extent, but still a little bit, Bill Wyman, um, that appealed to me.